go get a skull. Get a skull for me. Oh. <laughs> go get a skull. <laughs> the foulest stench is in the air. The funk of 40,000 years and grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to share your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. <laughs> Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the stream. From the tomb, reaching out across the, uh, I don't know, the... The, the, the bland... Oh, fuck. The uh, void. No. The void the of void. eternity. Um... <laughs> You're watching the Kofi Sam channel. This is Kofi. That one is Sam. And if you're here, then you're welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the stream. Um, we've already got some shout outs for subs. So, um, yes, we massive have. Shout out to um, M, to um, Lady Saltshea, and to uh, Flowers, who all subbed just as we went live there. Yeah. Um, you may have noticed we've got a new little Hype animation. train, hype train. Um, I don't know what that is still, but it, it looks great. It, it, it sure does. I don't know what does. Twitch is. What is Twitch? <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> we may never know. Um, but, uh, but thank you so, oh. so much. That's incredible. Um, yeah, the we're 93% of the way to the <laughs> next level of hype train. There are multiple levels of hype train. My we're gonna goodness. we're gonna take this all the My way to the caboose. Goodness. We're just gonna we're gonna be. Uh... <laughs> we'll take this all the way to the caboose. Um, just oh no, Jan just... is asking whether whether they can fuck the hype train. <laughs> I... I well, you, you know. know. You do you. In you the privacy you. of your own home. In the um, privacy of your own <laughs> station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right. What are we doing? We're doing, we're doing, we're, we're doing we're, robots. We're, we're, we're doing robots. Yes. That's the best way with our chat that I would phrase that, Kofi. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing robots. We're doing robots. Robots are happening. Um, robots will be happening <laughs> right now. We had a serious think about whether we were going to do like a, a Halloween game, um, and we realized that given how long this game, which is by the way, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, um, is probably going to take us to complete, um, we're probably going to have to interrupt it for a few weeks for Small Saga anyway, and we don't really want to interrupt this game twice. That That's kind of disjointed for, for you guys and a little bit for Sam because. Sam has to fucking relearn how to play it. So we're just going to continue. We were, we beat, no, we didn't beat a boss. We did the next level and got stuck on immediately the next boss. It was exciting. It was, it was, it was great. It was great. Um, we, <laughs> uh, we are, so... Yeah, okay, okay. No, it was a can, but it was the first can, so it doesn't count. The <laughs> second can, the second can is the good can. So don't give me that. Don't give me that, okay? <laughs> you only get the second this one. Can, this can normally starts off opened. <laughs> and Cavaland has just gifted a sub to Owls underscore dinosaur underscore emoji. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks very much. Ooh. Really appreciate that. Um, so you may or you may not notice, but uh, we look slightly different. Um, I did a wee bit of grinding off stream. Um, uh, yeah, he also grew just, a beard. Just <laughs> that definitely wasn't wasn't. No, okay. So Bingtron, Bingtron three thousand looks different today. Um, you'll see he's bulked out a little bit. 
Um, I think the uh, the the uh, the shoulder muscles are definitely yeah. buffed up a bit. Um, we're out of pumpkin body, really but like nice now. packs. Oh um, yeah, but just I did just squeeze you all night long. You a know? wee bit of grinding so we could pick up some new weapons. So. Um, it wouldn't just all be using exactly the same weapons over and over again. Um, so, um, this is the first version of Bingtron, by the way, that looks like it doesn't even fucking need guns. It could just fucking punch right? you. Um, right? Like, oh. um, are there mecha? Ooh, bit of slowdown there. Um, are there mecha anime where the mechas mostly punch? Like, I feel like Evangelion did a lot of punching. I feel like that's that's definitely the point of a, a good number of mecha. Yeah, um, uh, Gurren Lagann, a lot of punching, but your fists turn into drills in that game. It's weird. I need to rewatch Gurren Lagann. So sort of like it's weird Sonic? and problematic, and I weird say there's and a problematically Sonic weird, but it's beautiful. That. Uh, oh god, there's so many fucking mecha in Sonic. Like there's a mecha every yeah, ten minutes some in of, Sonic. Some of Pacific Rim did punch. Um, Oh no, Flowers is already leaving, but Flowers! I'm very glad to have had you. Thank you so much for saying hello, though. Briefly. That's incredible. Thank you, and sleep well. We are running um, what might be one hour later for some people because of daylight saving, but you know, that I think that just means the rest oh. of the world needs to catch up with us. It Did you just remember to turn the audio sound. on? Yeah. So. Well, now we know. Oh! I didn't realize you said you might buy the minigun. I didn't realize you actually <laughs> did. <laughs> but um, we're now the heavy from TF2. We are the heavy. We are heavy weapons guy. We are a heavy weapon. Let's get to work, shall we? Yeah, those of you who had to wait an extra hour, um, thank you so much for being here. You're incredible. And those of you who had to wait an hour less... Um, are... No one had to wait an hour less. That's not how this works. I'm a little confused about where you are. So if you could just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, sorry. I, ha I, I bought this, this gun just before the stream. I haven't had a chance to test it out and... Oh, 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 uh, we were saying um, we were saying that because on our boss fights, Sam is um, quite often getting the stagger that uh, he needs to actually put out some serious damage on the boss. But then because all of the guns and missiles have a certain cooldown, the timings to capitalize on that are very, very tight. And oh. we're wondering whether the minigun might help put out some more consistent damage. It's an experiment. Oh. Who's this, Taurus? Oh, oh Invincible Rummy, how I missed you. <laughs> Remember Mad Stomp and Invincible Rummy. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I said it last week, but the name Mad Stomp and Invincible Rummy is such like a Borderlands boss name. Yeah. Except he fucking talks like he's Revolver Ocelot. He's got that kind of anime voice. Oh, it's just a point-blank cannon shot. Oh my god, you are butchering. <laughs> You're butchering poor Rummy. <gasps> mad Stomp! Oh! <laughs> Rip to Mad Stomp. Oh boy. I am having a lot of fun. Oh boy. This game. This game. <laughs> Just taking a look at chat. Uh, welcome, Oliver. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we are playing... Uh, Oliver's not watched one of... Um, Oliver's watched this, this stream before, but he's not watched us on this game before. We're playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon 
we built the most stupid mecha and we're using it to shoot other mecha and we haven't been listening to the story. Um, <laughs> there's coral involved. <laughs> um, oh yeah, like we were fighting a resistance for quite a long time. I think that may have changed. It's very unclear. Um, I, think I think now we've actually done some missions for the resistance. We're mercenaries. I don't think we actually buy into any of this shit. We're bad people. Um, but that much is clear. Um, our mecha is pretty stupid. That's why we love it. <laughs> no one knows the plot. I don't think the characters in this game know the plot. Um, I am impressed um, on the chat. Oh. We have oh. someone who is listening to this. Oh, that must be Like it's an chaotic. audio drama. Um. Whilst, um, <laughs> oh, what are they doing? They're trying to do something incredibly hard. Uh, figuring out biochemistry of nerve damage. Um, oh, so, oh uh, dear. Very, I can't. very extreme evening for you. <laughs> um, I can't help but feel like that's just going to make things harder, but um, you do you. We're glad to have you if you enjoy it. Um. <laughs> I mean, if you find explosions relaxing and they help you focus on your on your research, then uh, that's good. I mean, I I, I listen to lo-fi hip hop beat playlists. <laughs> I find that helps, but um, you know, you do you. <laughs> I agree. Our mecha is beautiful. That doesn't mean it's not stupid. Oh my god, I have used so much, um, so, so much of our, um, uh, minigun ammo. I don't know, like, um... <laughs> oh, I absolutely love that. Uh, so, um, sorry if I'm not saying this right. Arl's Dinosaur, who is our, um extremely brave nerve damage researcher has said that this is just a regular Saturday for them. <laughs> it is Monday, and they have now realized that. <laughs> um, clearly, it has been an intense old time for you, so good on you. Now, I wouldn't say, Sam, that this mech has the best hips yet of all the uh, builds you've made. That's true. It does have the best ass. Oh, Oh, yeah. No, that is fair. And I think that that's because fair. its knees are vaguely humanoid, which a lot of our knees have not been yet. That's true. Um, now, I think I might have got something to please the hip lovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You, you. Whoa. Yeah, that was a Hello. close one. Oh yeah, I forgot Carla from Scrubs was a mini boss. I I was like I remembered Mad Storm and Invincible Rummy. I forgot forgot Carla as a mini boss. Honestly, you don't even need to put Carla from Scrubs in a mech. Just fucking, you know, just get an angry nurse. <laughs> She'll take yeah. you down. Oh, uh, that is true. The best hips are on Smart Cleaner. The boss sound spent <laughs> two hours fighting last week. We really... We did a lot of explosions and achieved very little. But it was very beautiful. Just... Just a real hot cleaner. Oh, I am out of minigun ammo. Oh, that bodes well for the boss. <laughs> what do you mean she surrendered? You just fucking killed her. Oh no, I think Carla drives. Okay. The cleaner? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Oh, oh maybe. Okay. So who were you fighting then? Uh, that was just a tetrapod. Oh, okay. I think. Uh, my mistake. Um, but at least I got a supply drop. That will be very useful. 
here. You should be shipping more of these mechs to Mother Base so you can research them, by the way. That is true. Uh, very, you're not really thinking for any mechs. <laughs> absolutely haven't. Oh. Um, anyone watching the stream who is not on the chat, um, there is an unofficial Discord, um, which we do not sub. That sorry, that's the wrong choice of words. I was go about to say we don't support it in any way, which <laughs> actually is not what I meant at all. We love that you do these things, and we support you guys having a community. We just don't have an official Discord, um, but. Um, I believe... Oh, there we go. Um, Aria has uh, just put the link up to it if anyone would like to join that community. Um, go for it. Oh. You do deserve love and support. This is why... This is why... <laughs> I didn't finish that sentence because it was the wrong choice of words for what I meant. <laughs> Kofi tactfully not putting their foot in their mouth since a number of years. Well, you know, like, at least I'm copping to I nearly put my foot in my <laughs> mouth and said something that could have been construed as me when I didn't mean to be me. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, oh you, boy. Uh, she you. went for a hug. Yeah. She went for a hug. Uh, oh, 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 oh. There you go. Oh. Um. I guess... But technically, that is something we could do. Um, if I can figure out where that option is. No, all of my mod options are time, time aria out, and I don't want to <laughs> do that. <laughs> you made a fan server. It's time to put you on a timeout. <laughs> Uh, I'm 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 not going to The twenty first century clown has just said or oh, uh, Kim's just said um first death down um twenty first century clown has said here's to the next twenty eight and I genuinely want to know whether you used twenty eight lives last session. Cause I've not been counting. <laughs> Nope, I cannot find it in my mod options. I um, apologize. Oh, that just means Ari is going to have to post it like every 30 seconds. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Aria bot. You are the new <laughs> bot of our channel. <laughs> 28 stab wounds. Okay, so it wasn't actually... We don't know for certain it was 28 last time. I've not watched last week's VOD. Um, I sometimes watch them. Um, but quite often I don't, so I haven't I haven't rewatched and I wasn't counting last time. I've not counted I've not counted death since since Fallen Order. Yeah, really. no. You know, because it's... And then you were kind enough not to count my Hollow Knight <laughs> I don't know fucking why you didn't do that. Because <laughs> I would have done. <laughs> I know you did in Fallen Order. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying I'm, I'm surprised you didn't do it right back to me. Because we went straight into Hollow Knight, I think. I don't um, think we had any big gap between Fallen Order and Hollow Knight. I think we may even have gone straight in. Whoa! Huh, how come the hog missed you that time? Um, I don't know, Is but it I'm because glad you're great at this? Um.
I love that when you get far away from it, it just spends some time swiping a fucking nothing on the other side of the room. I don't know why bosses do that. <laughs> you know, you see it you see it with a lot of action games as bosses do their full combo animation <laughs> when you're nowhere near them. Like, it doesn't really happen in From Software games that much. But I've noticed it in various things. Oh, yeah. It's not... It's not crazy dramatic damage, but it is... Yeah, I don't know. It seems it's like it's reliable good. to, like, yeah. get it in straight away without that kind of pause. <laughs> oh! Oh! Are we into phase two? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, we... Yeah, you, you've got it to 50%. Oh! Um, chat... Uh, chat have... Um, pointed out that Smart Clear is both hot and full of goo. <laughs> she... She so, most certainly is full of goo. There we go. Uh, um, the goo got, is rocks. We've got everything you could want from this game. So. We don't know that it's rocks. <laughs> I mean, it's lava, so... It could be boiling oil. See, I just don't know what application lava will actually serve in the context of cleaning this room. Well, you know, she's just a bit of a molten slag. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. 21st Century Clown. You are going to have to explain this, okay? If you were saying that according to ancient Greek philosophy, the fact that the robot is hot and full of goo makes her a human. I have a degree in ancient philosophy. I would... I'm, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm saying I have not encountered this. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> uh, also, chat are furious at you for calling uh, smart um, yes, hot yes. cleaner a molten slag. Um, I, I, I'm very sorry. I saw the opportunity to make a pun and I took it. And I do it again too. Hang on, it's bipedal and doesn't have fur or feather or scales. <laughs> it's it's not very bipedal. clearly not bipedal. <laughs> it's maybe monopedal. And none of those things are hot or goo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if you were going to say that this, that this cleaner is the platonic form of hot and goo, you know... Yeah, I guess the uh, the 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 structure of that preposition is very much alike. Oh, she did a oh oh! Did you parry that? Uh, no, I think I was just a millimeter far enough away. <sighs> em, I would also be sorry for Sam's life, but it's too late now. Worried for Sam's life, not sorry for Sam's life. I'm not sorry for your life. You lead a great life. <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I managed to glance at the chat and I just saw molten slag is sexy. <laughs> Bipedal <laughs> equals hot, featherless equals goo. <laughs> and clearly I skipped the modules on hot and goo, according to, <laughs> to Kim. <laughs> which is fair, which is oh. fair. Oh. Um, I, I, I'll be totally honest. I generally found, um, I generally found um, a lot of the lectures of my course a complete waste of time. Um, I just spent a lot of time in the libraries. 
because I was going to lectures and actually understanding things worse than I did before. Um, Plato may have said that humans are hot and gooey, but more likely if he was interested in that sort of thing, he would have written like a really shit play in which Socrates mentions <laughs> that humans are hot and gooey, but that he really doesn't know because do we know anything at the end of the day? And then like, I don't know, Aristophanes would have tried to have sex with him, but like it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> oh boy. There is a Plato, um, uh, Plato writing, I think, the symposia, where a big chunk of it, like, it's very silly, it's deliberately silly, but a big chunk of it is Aristophanes, the um, ancient um, comedian, um, just recounting, you know, Plato writing Aristophanes as a character, recounting um, Aristophanes just fucking trying to seduce Sophocles because he just found Sophocles so hot. Um, and then someone tells a story about how all human beings used to be um, conjoined into wheels. <laughs> and into that's wheels? Yeah, that's why sexuality exists. Uh, um, because we're looking for the other half of our wheel. And some, you know, some um, some men used to be joined to other men, which is why they like men. And, you know, some people are heterosexual, apparently. It was a weird idea in Greece as well. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no. Um, back in the midst of time, um, humans came in pairs and they were just fucking wheels. And then someone fucked that one up. And that's why... That's why sexuality exists. <laughs> We're just trying to get back to our wheelie state. What about the bisexuals? Very good point. Very good point. Uh, um, Plato didn't believe in them, so, maybe. Um, maybe bisexuals just aren't platonic forms. Ace people were triangles. <laughs> Have you ever seen a triangular wheel? Yes. <laughs> I bet it rolls in a very sort of very idiosyncratic way but then you know what idiosyncrasies are what makes life interesting oh. yeah that was a close one but my god it paid off but she's still she's still out for the count I mean I know repositioning is important and everything like you made the yeah. right choice yeah I know I uh, Kim, yeah, we, we can be both. We can be a wheel and eight raccoons in a cart. You know, we contain multitudes. Multitudes of raccoons. So many raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine if, um... Raccoons existed in Europe and instead of the frogs, like... Um, Aristophanes had written the raccoons. Um, I highly recommend... You You had mentioned... Um, you were just talking about Aristophanes, weren't you? Yeah, um, I yeah, was talking no. about... Well, I was talking about Plato writing Aristophanes as a character. Um, no, the... the uh, because you said, oh, imagine if he had written the frogs, but it's raccoons. And all I was like, wait, wasn't that the clouds? And that's also, I don't think, the play that I'm thinking of, because I think the play I'm thinking of is the birds. Um, yeah. Um, no, there absolutely are not raccoons in Europe. Um, for the person who was asking. Um, if we had uh, raccoons in this country, it would be very different and interesting because um, we, we, we don't have rabies here, so you could probably pet those raccoons. <laughs> 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 uh, 
and we all know you want to pet the trash pandas. Do you know what I'm sad we don't have in this country, like in the UK specifically, oh, not Europe? I'm really kind of sad we don't have native wolves anymore. Yeah. Um, I like wolves. They're beautiful. That was a good one. That was a good fight. Like, I know, I know she got you, but um, yeah, I know, I know, uh, I know. In Europe, I just wish there was some in the UK. Um, I wish we hadn't just fucking killed them all. Kind of the same with bears, actually. Like, not that I mean, like, I would fucking hate to be walking in the highlands and just meet a bear. That would... Yeah, maybe I'm not so sad that there aren't bears. <laughs> but bears are super cool. I just, you know, don't want to... Like, bears are one of my favorite animals. Um, I'm not sure I want to, like, bump into one one day, you know? Oh yeah, bears are terrifying, but also consider that they're the funniest animal to be killed by. <laughs> There's just something so much more funny about being eaten by a bear than being eaten by a lion. Oh, so this you is why the Revenant saw... is such a great comedy. <laughs> so you also saw cocaine bear? I didn't. <laughs> no. Flowers has met a bear in the wild. Wow. And they're not even here to tell us about it. Thanks, M, for this information. We're gonna have to like next week. We're gonna have to grill flowers on their <laughs> on their bear experience or bear experience. How do you bear up under that kind of pressure? <laughs> oh. Oh, yep. Um, Law grew up in Alaska where there are um, polar bears, or as they say in French, uh, un bear polar. <laughs> um, and little, oh my god. Little, Sorry, that is such a deep cut. Um, I'm just giving you a little a little um, cabin pressure, cabin pressure <laughs> joke. <laughs> it's not that deep a cut. It's, <laughs> it's from a British radio program. <laughs> Which hasn't been on the air for about ten years. years. But like, no, no. But like, I, I am willing to believe <sighs> that some people watching know it because it had Benedict Cumberbatch in it. That's um, so. That's actually, it, it was one of those kind of Radio Four comedies that weirdly made it outside into the UK. <laughs> but there's an episode where um, he's like through a set of crazy circumstances uh, one of these characters has to has to um, has to pass himself off as French and he has to tell a story about how he survived an encounter with a polar bear and then the person talking to him asks what a polar bear is in French and he's like oh, we borrow it from your language uh, in our country it is called a bear polar um it's not. <laughs> in, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> but I highly, I highly recommend the show Cabin Pressure. It is genuinely one of the funniest things you will ever listen to. Um, um. And very, very sweet. And Benedict Cumberbatch is even bearable in it, it, it is <laughs> even if you don't like him <laughs> probably um <laughs> probably one of two things that i like benedict cumberbatch in which um says something do you um, know what's really weird i genuinely kind of like benedict cumberbatch in the hobbit i think he's really good as as smaug Oh, I um, guess I don't think I ever noticed that he was Smaug, so that might be a point <laughs> in his favour. I mean, I'm not, I'm not um, going to recommend The Hobbit as a movie, but I think the Smaug scene, they, there's a lot that goes well about that scene. Um, uh, yeah, Brandy Cucumber, Bandy Hoop, uh, Bandy Hoop, Rumble de Thumps. <laughs> 
Lumba Fumba Tumba Dumba. <laughs> um, the yes, the the only other thing I like Benedict Cumberbatch in uh, is Starter for Ten. Uh, because, oh, I've not uh, seen that. Uh, he gets headbutted in the face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. I thought the game had crashed for a second. It just lingered on that for so long. Oh yeah. Um. <sighs> I uh, try and think what else I enjoy better as it comes about. Shin. I've not actually watched that many things. No. I, like I, I've got to say, um. I don't hate him in Marvel. Like yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm not saying oh he's the best thing about Avengers, but I was like, no, actually he's, he's pretty good at it. Like, um, <laughs> but I'm not crazy enthusiastic for any of it. I guess so. Don't yeah. take that as word of God that <laughs> that he's great in it. Like I think. The problem about Avengers um, Infinity War and Endgame is for people like me, like I was just finding like watching those films exhausting. I was usually like having a good time, but like they just gave me a you can jump off the train here point and I fully did. And now that's a couple of years on and I just do not care anymore. Yeah. Like they really, like if their job was to keep um, their whole audience engaged throughout. They really fucking fumbled it. Um, um, yeah, but then, like, it's I... fine for things to stop, you know? It genuinely is fine for things to just go, well, that was a success. We're done now. Oh! Just that bitch slap cleaner, like, really? I, I, look, I don't hate Marvel or anything. I just... I just like that I don't feel I have to keep up with it anymore. You know? It's kind of how I feel about Star Wars. Um, I would say that Star Wars is fun at times. There's too fucking much of it, and... Um, Becoming less invested in it has actually probably made me happy because I don't have to have feelings about Star Wars anymore. Hmm. You know, like, it doesn't bother me if the Star Wars is bad. The are certainly living up to their reputation. Yeah, it's sort of sad. Whereas once upon a time, it absolutely would have bothered yeah. me, you know? Um,. And then there's stuff like Game of Thrones, which as soon as I stopped watching Game of Thrones, I realized that I wasn't watching Game of Thrones because I liked it. I was just watching it because everyone was watching it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because people at work would be like, oh my god, did you see what happened last time? And I realized that, oh, I don't actually feel like I'm missing out on this. <laughs> yeah, I tried watching the first series of Game of Thrones and... I got through the whole thing and went, wow, that was really rubbish. You watched the whole and of Game of Thrones? No, I, I watched the first series and then went, wow, that was really rubbish. I don't fancy watching any more. <laughs> and then I never did. <laughs> um, I mean, never say never, Sam, you know? That's true. You're not dead yet. You've got um, three repair kits. <laughs> you could watch so many seasons of Game of Thrones before... This hot, hot cleaner murders you. <laughs> because you made a lot. Hey, Lady Salt Shea. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, um, the fight is the fight is got. You know what? I think um, Sam has put in quite a lot of time grinding on this game and um, just learning various different builds. Um, he actually, um, off camera, um, I watched you fight the previous boss, um, 
and you know uh, kind of made mincemeat of it so you know i've got a good feeling about this uh this session is what i'm saying yeah i will totally agree with you law i think um the production design on game of thrones is often absolutely sumptuous like um don't get me wrong like it is very clearly oh you stood for too long in that fucking lava oh did i yeah but yeah that damn it that took off nearly an entire health bar Shit. um i did not realize that was hurting you uh, yeah no. i was too concentrated on trying to hurt uh so yeah game game of thrones looks sumptuous like the things they've made for it like it is very clearly a labor of love for the production uh people and the props people um I just hate the fucking story. <laughs> oh, oh, I was oh, very no. trapped there. I tried flying up and nothing happened. That is a shame. <sighs> oh, was it Bernadette Banner? <sighs> yeah, no, I think I know. I think I know that person. How are you doing, Sam? Uh, I am good. Sorry, I looked at chat, and um, Aria was actually acting as a bot. Um, <laughs> yep, I, I yep, was yep, not yep. being serious. <laughs> I think I think Aria is actually linking to a specific uh, a specific thing. Right, um, okay. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure it is what I think it is. Um, okay. But um, I think oh. it's just a conversation our lovely viewers are having. Oh, Sam, by the way, just so I'm distracting you whilst you're doing something extremely difficult, Sam invented a fantastic new beverage, um, um, which so I've not tried, but it sounds amazing. What I, what I uh, was just drinking um, is um, Nesquik, but made with oat milk. Um, and... It is really but quite nice. Specifically, it, strawberry Nesquik. Yeah. Um, Oat quick. It sort of takes some of the sweetness away from the Nesquik, but in quite a nice way. Um, I just think sometimes non-dairy milks just add, really add something in ways you're not expecting. There's, yeah. um, you know, this is not a particularly um, like sensible use of my money, but during the summer, I really like, um, I really like a cold brew coffee. Oh. And sometimes I just buy the cartons of cold brew from the supermarkets, and they're overpriced. But there's one brand that makes it with almond milk. And it just adds so much that you wouldn't get normally. Or, um, you know, Tim. Tim is, like, Tim is a vegetarian, not a vegan. But Tim only gets in soy milk um, when he gets milk. Oh, and fuck. Do you know what? Soy milk and your tea really adds a complexity of flavor that just isn't there with dairy. I don't know that I like it better, but it's a nice, it's a nice change. Well, that's it. I, um, I, I find the soy taste a bit too overpowering in tea. Um, I really like oat milk in coffee. Um, I think. I think oat milk in coffee just works really nicely. Mm. Um, I should try that, really. But um, I'm not as big a fan of it in tea. Um, I think the problem is that dairy milk is really neutral in terms of flavour. Um, in my opinion, I think probably just because of how used to drinking dairy milk I am. If you get full cream, um, there's a lot more to taste. Um, but yeah, I would agree with you with like semi skim slash half and half. Um, 
just before that comment disappears off my feed. Um, M, you got the cases. That's awesome. Guess who picked the cases? Um, being silly, I guess the Shit. Nest Quick Bunny picked the cases. <laughs> you have a new bottle of kefir sitting in... Uh, Law has a new bottle of kefir sitting in their fridge that hasn't been opened or used and is two weeks old. I think that just makes it more potent kefir, right? Um, Law, didn't, didn't last week we talk about your... <laughs> <laughs> kefir has come up a bit regularly uh more, more recently i mean i actually you know what after we talked about kefir the other day i did buy myself some kefir um but i think uh i actually really like the kefir and i think that um i think that probably you know I, I highly recommend probiotics everyone um Unfortunately, I take a regular probiotic sub, uh, what do you call them, supplement, and I think just, well, I'm just not sure that taking, eating kefir as well as that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know? Huh. Right. No, we got this. We got this. <sighs> Kim's neighbors run a dairy farm. Yeah, kefirs like uh, kefirs a yogurt where the um, uh, what do you call it? Like the the bacterial cultures are still active. Um, and have had longer to, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, I suppose, um, kind of ferment in the yogurt. So it's meant to be really good for your gut microbiome. And, I mean, I don't know the full science of it, but, um, because, um, the microbiome that lives in your gut is part of a very, um, complex and delicate uh, system within you. It actually affects the neurology of your gut and can alter a lot of things about your health and mood um, genuinely. Um, I don't know the science of it, but it is a rapidly developing field that's actually um, our gut and its microbiome play a huge part in all kinds of things that you would think would be completely unrelated. So, kefir, guys. Um, kombucha as well. Um, or, so kombucha would be if you're dairy free and you don't, don't have dairy products, so that's more like a What's kombucha made from? Is it tea? Uh, is yeah, it fermented tea? Yeah. Like fermented tea. Um, um, but we know how how much you love um, kombucha, uh, which is actually why we call you the booch pooch. <laughs> <laughs> the boo <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's right. I'll change my. I'll change my. Um, I'll change my Twitter username now. Where's my phone? <laughs> um, oh yeah, uh, I tried the other day. Speaking of um, speaking of probiotic fermented foods, I tried tempeh um, yesterday oh, yeah. for the first time ever. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I I gotta be honest. Um, if I had to like guns my head choose between tempeh or like a nice tofu it'd still be tofu but this was not bad and it was quicker to prepare um i feel like um tempeh has quite a strong taste it it does um, which you know might may may add to some things but um might detract from some things um yeah like i had it with i i i made fried udon with tempeh and i will say like the first 
bite I took of the temper, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I like this. But by the end of the bowl, I was like, no, actually, like, this is the more I have of this, the better it is. Kefir as Sam. <laughs> 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 oh, we could change, because we have changed our username on Twitter before. Back when we were really into ponchos, <laughs> you know? Hey, I miss, hey, I miss hey, the poncho hey, days. Hey, 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 that was rude. Um, sorry, that was rude of my controls not to launch me into the air like I asked them to. Not of you, you're doing a fine job as a boss. Um, <laughs> you're doing quite a good job as a boss. Yeah, it's fucking I'm really gatekeepering the rest of the game, which is what a boss is meant to be doing, right? Okay, Lady Sorche, good luck. Oh. Thanks for joining. Hope the work goes well. Poncho stream, yeah, um, uh, it may have been before you joined us, um, Oliver, uh, but back when we were playing Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the main character wears a poncho. A lot of the unlockables are just poncho fashion, and <laughs> we just fucking wore ponchos um, for an for, episode. For, for one stream, and in we, the middle of the summer heat, we wore wool ponchos. Yeah, my beautiful good, wool like, ponchos. Two and a half They're hours. They're so good. Um, They're really pretty. Um, they, they are very and pretty. I think and for a couple of weeks, we changed our name to Poncho or Sam. <laughs> Um, you can wear summer ponchos. Pretty sure you'll find that um, Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly is wearing a poncho and it doesn't look like it's winter. Um, that's true, but like... <laughs> <laughs> they were made of, you know, I, I think they were alpaca wool. Um, I think they're... I'll, I'll check. Well, this is the time of the year when they come out of the cupboards. Um... Because it is getting cold, and I can't afford to heat my home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, you're yeah, dead, and so is my can. What do we it's need happening. to go back to um, what we started at? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the end is near for this can. It will be drained of all sanguineous fluids. If I can just get my finger under the fucking tab. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, that sounded very creaky door in a haunted house, yeah. actually. That was effective. That was very good. That was both yeah. sound effective and sound effects and soundly effective. Heck, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the game. Oh, you distracted me. I was going to... Try a slightly different build. Oh, well, That's you'll just right. have to die. You'll just have to die. Yeah. If I die this time, then it will be because you told me to, and yeah. for no other reason. <laughs> All right? Um, just... Yep, yep, yep. When's the two-hour coffee ca uh, can crack track? Um, <laughs> do you know how long it... How many cans it would take me to do two hours of it? <laughs> oh, got you done quickly. There. You need to stop Shit. standing in the fucking lava. It's bad for you. I think we should mod this game so that when uh, when the mech stands in the lava, like he jumps up, clutching his butts like Mario, <laughs> going, <"Whoa!" laughs> you know. Already. 
seat all just for you. Um, hey, a uh, little wrestling joke. When Cinder Carla says the cleaner's going to have the last laugh, I just thought, all right, Don Callis. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah cause, because Don Callis was until about a year ago Kenny Omega's manager and like, um, Kenny Omega's called the cleaner. It's fine. I, I oh, liked it. Right, right, right. I liked okay. it. That's what I'm I saying. Got I was, I was right. Um, right. <laughs> oh, the thing is, those thighs are actually quite thin, but because of the way they're constructed, they just look thick. Now, I thought. Oh, you don't like these meowster energy, um, like uh, as in like Monster Hunter meowsters. Like what the what the Palocos call monsters. Oh, I need to play some Monster Hunter. I was thinking about Monster Hunter earlier. Oh, Meowster Energy, like like of uh, like the energy drink, but with cats in it. Okay, that's fine. I've just got Monster Hunter on the brain. Like the the cats in Monster Hunter say cat puns all the time. <laughs> I fucking love Monster Hunter. I genuinely genuinely think Monster Hunter Rise might be... Okay, so this sentence is going to sum up way too much about me as a person. I think Monster Hunter Rise might be my favorite game ever that doesn't have the word Mario or Zelda in the title. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's my favorite can pun? Um, oh, God. I'm not sure, like, I categorize... Um, I'm not sure I have, like, a list of can puns to, like, jump in on. Um, <laughs> um, what's my favorite Zelda game? What's my favorite Zelda game or what's Sam's favorite Zelda game? Oh. Uh, apparently there are wrong answers to this question, says Law. Oh. Um, Mine um, is mine is Majora's Mask. Uh, well, I could um, tell you uh, the two Zelda games oh, yeah, you don't really that like Zelda, I have you? finished. Um, it's not really that I don't like Zelda. It's just that I I um, uh, I have historically not not sort of got on with the style sort of well enough to actually oh wow this is nippy um <laughs> it, this is very different um i think i uh, look i think the the nice thing about zelda is that um it's one of these games it's a very long running franchise um but it kind of Every game is a fairly decent entry point because nothing is dependent on what's come before. Like, Tears of the Kingdom is the first exception to that in about 20 years. Um, possibly even longer. What's my favorite cat pun? Um, just... Just the whole of the 1960s Batman show is my favorite cat pun. <laughs> you know, like anything that Eartha Kitt says when she's on screen as Catwoman. You know, just just perfect. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway. In incorrect about Majora's Mask? The, the two... Um, nuh -uh. <laughs> The two Zelda games I have ever finished are um, Breath of the Wild and... Uh, Skyward Sword and um, I, I can insult uh, I can probably uh, make people not very happy by going um, actually there's a chance I may be preferred Skyward Sword oh. um, I, I certainly oh, think about that is, that is a uh, now I definitely spent that is a, a lot more challenging you're brave. You're brave. Um, I definitely spent a lot more time playing um, 
Breath of the Wild. But, like, I don't think I've really thought about it since I finished it. Um... You see, I have so many... It's really weird, because I have so many really cool memories of um, discovering places in Breath of the Wild for the first time. Um, I... I actually think... So, Skyward Sword is my least favorite Zelda, but I think there is a lot to like about it. I just... There are things about Skyward Sword that I don't like that I find really hard to overlook. Um... um. But by equally the same merit, I um, played Skyward Sword on the Wii. I have only ever played Skyward Sword on the Wii. And uh, the controls for Skyward Sword on the Wii were fucking miserable. So uh, the um, so this is what I thought when it came out. Um, the Switch has... Um, the Switch at least lets you control the camera. Um, which you couldn't do on the Wii, which was yeah. a deal breaker for me on the Wii. Um, Twilight Prince, uh, Oliver says Twilight Princess's art style is beautiful, and it really is. I would say I wish that. I wish that the. Um, I'm assuming that Oliver's talking about the. Um, like the official artwork for the game, um, which is really beautiful. I wish they would make like a cell shaded game that more closely resembles that art style than the final in-game graphics for Twilight Princess did. I also kind of wish that there were more, there was a little bit more color to the finished game, but I, that was, they were very clearly going for a thing. Um, you know, and they hit it on the head, in fairness. Night, Yan, sleep well. Oh. We were talking a little while ago, though, um, about doing... Because on the Switch, they dropped um, the two Zelda Oracle games, which are two Zelda games that are linked... Um, they're completely different games, but they're also... You they're can play them as a single... Hey. Hey. Yeah. But you can play them as like a single continuous experience or separately. And we were talking a little while ago about um, Sam maybe taking one and me taking the other. Which I think could be fun. Play some old Game Boy games on this channel. It is wild that we could play Game Boy games on this channel. Like, yeah. easily without having to get any new equipment and, like... Yeah, Phantom Hourglass is pretty old. Um, uh, yeah, Spirit Tracks, I guess, was a sequel, and Phantom Hourglass was a sequel to Wind Waker. Yeah, I had forgotten about the, um, the handheld ones. I... will say... I don't massively rate Phantom Hourglass. I kind of like Spirit Tracks. I, I would say I don't rate Phantom Hourglass, and I just remembered Linnebeck is a character. Um, I rate Linnebeck specifically. Oh, bye, Arles. Hope you... Um, Hope you manage to <laughs> balance your study effectively with the explosions. Um, seriously impressed by that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely, lost. So, like the fact that there are so many, uh, so so few canon Zelda games which star the same version of Link, I think is a massive pro for the series. Um, I think it lets whole new generations of players hop on without feeling like they need to be bound to continuity. Um, someone was saying in the chat earlier that Marvel has gone on so long that it's essentially so hard and um, difficult for new people to get in on that train. 
You were doing really well. Yeah. Um, but like uh, for me, like my first Zelda was um, Ocarina of Time, which I think was 1997 or 1998. Um, but that was the fifth Zelda, you know. And I, if it had been a series where you needed to know what happened in the four previous Zeldas, I don't think the nine-year-old me would have had that great a time with it. But because it was a new version of the Hyrule map... Um, new version of Link, um, new version of Ganon, and it was not assuming any prior experience for the series. I loved that game, you know, and I'm still playing them to this day. I think it's a massive strength. Um, yeah. I think Mario, by contrast, um, is almost the opposite of that because... Um, it is so committed to being new player friendly and its solution to doing that is just not to have a story like nothing that happens in Mario matters and that's a whole thing like there's a Mario Galaxy and a Mario Galaxy 2 and the two Mario Galaxies are not in canon with each other it's really weird like story wise Mario Galaxy 2 is almost a remake of one um. Now, um, see, that's, yeah, uh, it's really weird um, in terms of Mario because, um, like, most of Mario is, like, really trying to um, get new players um, and just go, right, this is... The, the launching off point not only for like you you playing Mario but it's also the launching off point for Nintendo yeah. kind of thing yeah um, I mean Mario Land on the Game Boy was the launching point for me as a game um, and I think it does that job well um, but that means that when it doesn't do that, it is really weird, and <laughs> it kind of um, it, it it kind of feels quite dissonant. Um, because I would say, oh, what was it? The one on Wii U that got a Switch re-release? Oh, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Um, yeah, so it is so difficult. <laughs> sort of. It really is not. Um, I am sorry. It's one of the easiest Mario games they've ever made. Like, towards the end of that game, they just go hard on going. Oh, okay. So Post-final boss, very, very hard. Up to that. Sorry, it's, it's a very easy game. But uh, I, I have not completed every level in that. I am not good enough. Um, um, there are very, very few people who have come on. Yeah. That last level That is last level is stupid. Possible. But it's embarrassing how it's embarrassing how little progress I can make in it before losing all my lives. I didn't encounter anything. There's a lot of secret worlds post final boss, but Going up to that final boss, I didn't encounter, encounter anything that gave me a lot of trouble. It has been a good number of years since I played it, so... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Aria! Oh. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Thank you for sharing, uh, sharing all of that. <sighs> Fuck. Enough, Torres. Oh. It's been miserable knowing you. That... <laughs> <gasps> We're making friends with her. You want to go up top, right? <gasps> Let me show you the way. Guided tours. That's so awesome. Top. Also, like, well fucking done. How are you feeling oh, right now? Oh, the bug legs. I'm sorry. I am just struck by um that that last moment where I got like um I got that last shot in and just 
the slow-mo as the fight finished and um, it died was just uh, my robot sort of leaping in the air and just, oh, I am feeling good about that. That's one to rewatch on the, that's one to rewatch on YouTube. Oh. Did someone clip that? <laughs> um. No new messages. <laughs> Did you check your How? answer phone? How, how you Has Handler Water stopped talking to us? Raven. Thanks very much. Yeah, Carla's our friend now. Heck yeah. We proved ourselves worthy. I can't remember why we went, because we went to another continent to fight those people. Huh. But, like, Handler Water just straight up isn't talking to us. Um, Which, let's be honest, not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, he's got a weird voice. He is n not the best guy. <laughs> um, right. Now, I'm... I feel like we need to... Iridium. Um, oh, what's the one with four barrels? Four barrels. Oh. That one. That looks silly. Uh, that's the bubble gum that we were fighting before, oh. and I have tried it with um, the in the other hand, but um, it it. Wait, sorry. Really if you, doesn't work you, for me. You have to buy yep. them separately for yep. each hand. The fuck? Yep. Some bullshit. <laughs> what about the? If you tried a shotgun? Um, I don't think I have. Because I know you. Them? I know you liked the. Um, I know you liked like the close-up sword slash, but the timing was leaving you exposed. I just wonder whether you'd get that effect from a shotgun without. Yeah. Um. But the uh, I don't know what you call it like the plasma cannon that you had in that last fight was pretty good. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty good, and I think I've got I bought one for each hand so um, we can we can give that a shot on the left hand or I could go for it. this which we decided was just whacking them with a chunk of metal um, <laughs> which I kind of love um, so other than that or was there anything I was eyeing up there because there's like a laser cannon on your back. I I mean, like, I'm not paying super close attention to the damage every single weapon is doing. It's starting to feel like your missiles are kind of hitting diminishing returns when it comes to the bosses. Like, they used to be really effective, but now it feels like the actual guns you're carrying in are doing more damage. Yeah, that's true. Um, um, so I, yeah, I would be like swap one of those packs out for another gun. Um, I I feel like they're they're mostly really good for breaking shields and breaking uh, and staggering um, above necessarily doing huge amounts of damage. But um, yeah, let's let's buy that. We'll see how we feel. Um, and um, on the Christmas lot now, I oh, 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 oh. really like those. Now so I have a plasma those cannon. For that side. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and then. Oh, God, we're nearly at the time where we need to think about a Christmas stream, Sam. I know, right? Um, we have to pre-record some Christmas <laughs> shit again. Um, oh, um, shall we just replay Cthulhu Saves Christmas? Well, uh, technically, we didn't finish Cthulhu Saves Christmas. <laughs> you had enough. You said enough now and switched it off after like six hours of playing it. <laughs> <laughs> like we beat what we thought was the final boss and there was another one you were like nope nope no nope, no nope, <laughs> goodbye Merry Christmas <laughs> do you want to know the worst part what um, I, I did thought, you not save it I thought that I better save and so um, 
And so I um, uh, went and finished the. Uh, I went and finished the game, and it was about five lines of dialogue. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, uh, Oliver, Cthulhu Saves Christmas. We um, we played a we played a 16-bit RPG called Cthulhu Saves Christmas last December. Um, it is on our YouTube. Like, go watch it if you want. Like, it was fun. We did some good fucking voices for that. Um, just and a boy, lot of fucking did we dialogue. We do a lot of them. Also, um, Christmas Eve lasted for something like 40 days. Um, <laughs> It was like, it is Christmas Eve, and then the next day it was like, it is Christmas Eve the second. Yeah, it was, it, you know, it was a lot, but all the bosses are vaguely, um, vaguely winter folklore themed. Um, genuinely, it was a pretty good game. Um, it was a pretty good game. It um, uh, maybe. Outstayed its welcome in being played all in one sitting. It, it um. was it was a little <laughs> bit maddening, and we didn't really get a lot. We didn't talk a lot of um, shit because there was just so much dialogue for us to voice. That's but the true. dialogue was really funny. It was yeah, ri- like the yeah. main thing about the game is it was really well written. Um, it's yeah. Let's. Oh, I've got an EN short for you. Yeah, we'll have to have we'll have Jesus. to have a think about what we do as a, as a special. Um, but there will be some kind of special around Christmas. Right. So EN comes from <laughs> um, energy. Uh, You're not generating. Oh, you need to generate more energy, Sam. Right. Let's let's go see if we can find. A generator that can power our massive guns. Um. Um. Right. We are having... (laughs) <laughs> I don't associate it with Christmas especially. I suppose the game is very white, like the idealized Christmas, in that the entire art style is just shades of white. Portal for a Christmas dream. Uh, that could be really fun. Do you um, know what is white? I feel like... Um, Do you know what is white and red in a very Christmassy way as well? Super hot. <laughs> <laughs> I could see a Santa super hot. Um, sorry, what were you saying? Um, I oh god, people really want Portal. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Portal would um, be a lot of fun, but um, I feel like it might go better uh, in in a stream than necessarily pre-recorded. Um, that is true. We wouldn't get the we wouldn't get the reactions. Uh, I, I... Uh, it's hard. <laughs> I don't think we can use this gun. Um, unless I do something like... No, that... That's still too much. Um, I think... I think my, um... My hesitation when thinking about, like, do we play Portal as a pre-recorded thing over Christmas or do we play it on the stream um, is just from the point of view of offering a playthrough of it. Um. I'm slightly concerned that Portal is such a funny game that we, that we may have we nothing to add to, to it, it. <laughs> if you see what I mean like oh. it <laughs> yeah that's that's fair um, you know like I can't fucking uh... but that doesn't mean it wouldn't be really fun my favorite little tourist um 
I forget, can you do um, co-op Portal? Portal 2 has a full co-op campaign. There's a whole second campaign does, in Portal 2. Um, I uh, remember Portal, what Portal 1 does not have co-op. Um, and it's also like an hour long. Um, so we'd be looking at Portal 2. It's the Junker Coyotes. We never did get because on J sorry, Junker Coyotes. I, I need to hold you there. Oh, oh, these guys oh, are called oh, Junker Coyotes, and they're represented by oh, a fucking God. spider. <laughs> but also, they've just got all of the ro all oh, yeah, of they're, the they're robots so. that they were represented by with the, um, the Roly Boys from Star Wars. They um, might be a pack of dumb animals, which are but pretty at least great. They know quality workmanship. I think if you anyway, get Portal you know 2 on stream, there's mess. also quite a lot of user-made well, levels, um, including new lines recorded <laughs> by, you know um, by what's-his-name, um, J. Jonah Jameson, that guy, J.K. Simmons. <laughs> um, so we could do the, we could do the carp campaign, or we could do um, user made content. We don't need to limit ourselves to playing the story mode. Your handler didn't authorize this sort of either. Kim, at least at least you and your husband learnt that in time. Can, with your fails. Can you read that message? Yeah, I so Kim has just like sent us a message. I tried to do the co-op of Portal with my husband once. That's how we discovered we should not play games together. <laughs> there was a lot of sabotage for a competitor. Yeah, we would be sabotaging each other. In fairness, Kim, oh, of it sounds like discovering that may have saved your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rolling, tourist. Let's get oh my God. She's going to call us tourists for the rest of the game now. Fucking hey, hell. Hey, at least we made a friend, and she repaired the room that we ripped up. That's very impressive. This is impressive. the same room we were fighting in, right? Um, she presumably repaired it with the lava she uses to clean things. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> More games should have co-op. I genuinely think Breath of the Wild's co-op would be really fun. Well, I wouldn't say that of most Zelda Fucking games, but... Fucking hell! Sorry, that was Yo, my shotgun. You just shotguns. obliterated that. That was my shotgun. I told shotgun. you shotguns what would the be... Uh, and that was from half the, the room away, you know? Ah, uh, but you need to get them with shields down. Oh, we're fighting boars again. I completely forget who boars. I am so far removed from this story now. He, uh, boars is one of the cor corporations. Yeah, but like we were fight helping them, then we were fighting them, and then I don't know who the fuck. Anyway, these, calm, this huh? tourist board is. Um, I assume they're just some kind of tourist board, just directing us to fun touristy experiences. Anyway, Carla. Can you not call me tourist? I have yeah, enough names already. I'm Raven. already 621 Raven. Um, uh, Bintron. Gun 13. Um, Jesus. Bintron 3000. And Shakira. Um, because your hips don't lie. Wait, sorry, Law, Hyrule Warriors isn't co-op? I would have assumed Hyrule Warriors would be online co-op. That would seem like the a really obvious... It's Nintendo. What am I saying? Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo have only just realized that the internet exists. Um. <laughs> but, like, they, they have Splatoon. They have Splatoon. That is an exception. Um, but as much as I love Splatoon, it is hard to say that um, it is hard to say that its netcode is perfect. <laughs> Looks like it's over. Guess I was right to pick you for the job. Oh, and now I would not mind um, I would not mind playing some Splatoon. I don't know whether that would be like 
that great a thing to play thinking about it. Um, maybe when the maybe when the expansion drops to play the single player campaign on that. Because the Splatoon expansions are pretty pretty solid actually. But also like just just getting um, some some multiplayer games in could be really fun. Yeah. Um, I I feel like some real fun I've had on stream. Um, I know not a lot of people necessarily caught it, but was uh, when when we played um, uh, Fall Guys out about oh, a year ago. Oh, Fall Guys was great. Our oh, water's back. Fall Guys was fantastic. Um, some great, um, some great, great, great um, um, Gilbert Gottfried stuff. Oh yeah, in in our Fallout play. Um, a way out was really good. I had a lot of fun. A way out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do That's have the thing. all this Borderlands on my Switch, Sam. Um, there are so many games I look at and go, "Wow, this could be really fun playing co-op," and there's just no, yeah, no chance to do it. So. Um, it takes two is actually something that's been on our list since the very beginning of this of this channel. Um, we go back and forth on it because um, I like platformers and Sam does not. <laughs> um, oh, you you said escape simulator and that mm -hmm. made me think of um, um, a completely different game. Uh, which I would really like to play on stream, but I think is maybe just a bit logistically impossible <laughs> without us actively being in different locations, and that's that's really hard to set up. But um, I would really like to play um, Stop Talking and Nobody Explodes. Um, oh, the the game that the game that I would love to play that there is almost no way that we could play. Yeah, it's keep talking and no one explodes. <laughs> keep talking Stop and talking explodes. and everyone explodes. Um, oh my god. The, the game that I would love to play that we have almost no chance of making work logistically because we would need we would need four to five players. Like we would need to get multiple guests on and we would need to take over a much bigger room than this is Artemis which is a cooperative Star Trek bridge simulator oh, so wow. everyone everyone has a laptop which represents a station on a Star Trek bridge so you would have like a comm station a navigation station a helm station an engineering um, an engineering interface, um, weapons, all of that. Um, and what your responsibilities are depends on how many people are playing. And then there's one captain who has the big screen that's in Star Trek, so they get a proper TV. Okay. But your job, the captain can't see what's any on any of your stations, and you have to relay the information and take the orders. Wow. Um, it is really, really fun. It is real hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds logistically, you know, so, sort of like if you have ever tried um, organising a D&D &D game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's harder than organising a D&D &D game. Yeah. Um, because for one thing, you need to get people together and they need to fucking love Star Trek. And yeah. it's actually really hard to find a group of five to six people who all love Star Trek. Um, like, I have five to six people in my life who love Star Trek, but, it, you know, like, getting them all in one room is really hard. Um, don't love... I do want to shout out to Kim. Why are there so many lasers? I don't love that. That's fine. Um, it's just a lot of fucking mecha snipers. Um, um, I want to shout out to Kim, who... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, it actually fucking is. Fucking run. What the fuck? Run. Oh, oh my god. Just um, run. Oh, my 
crap. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <gasps> fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. I, I do want to shout out. I do want to shout out to to Kim, who um, is so much funnier than I will ever be. <laughs> Says, "Stop talking and no one explodes." Is just a silent stream that could probably be run by Cheesecake and Shark on their own. We <sighs> wouldn't even need to be in the room for that one. <laughs> Actually, we could do that as our Christmas episode. Um, <laughs> so keep talking and nobody explodes. By the way, I think someone's uh, given an explanation in chat, but um, mm. you, one person is trying to defuse a bomb, but only they can see the bomb, and the other person is um, giving a. They've got the manual or something like that. Uh, the other person has the manual and can explain how to defuse the bomb. Um, and so, oh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, stay under that fucking bridge. Oh no. Don't get fried. Don't get fried. That's an extremely powerful laser. Be careful, Raven. God, this game does not let up. Oh. Ooh. That was a one shot. Whew. Um. Uh. Kim is also being attacked by seven to eight cats right now. That's a lot. Which of seems cats. an excessive number of cats to all be ganging up on you. I think that cat's is bullying. You should uh, you should report them to HR. Wow. Wow. There must be some kind of guidance system you can take down. Because there's no way yeah. you can outrun that. Yeah. No, I don't think. That's... Like, maybe with a different build, but... Mm. They're not even your cats? Oh. How are you getting yourself into a situation where... Oh, there's a whole other level down here. <laughs> is, is that it? Yeah, they just exist to force you... Oh god, you went to the Forbidden Sector with all the cogs. Oh, not the Forbidden Cog Sector. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's like a fucking Castlevania level down here. Um, You know how every Castlevania game has a level with lots of cogs for Captain no good reason? Picard by going to the Forbidden Sector. Hey, take care, 21st Century Clown. Thanks for joining us. Oh. We'll see you next time. On Cover Your Sam. <laughs> The channel that we The channel this, this, that we channel. run. The channel that we run. Run is maybe a strong word. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, I'm, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being unnecessarily mean to us. I think we do an okay job. Hey, can you, can you, fuck off? <laughs> Um, right. Yeah, so I, 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 I got nothing, man. I got nothing. Um, well, nowhere to hide now. Can you just pan the camera off and see where these things are coming from? Oh, oh, Jesus, no. That's yeah, you've, not got, gonna you've work. not got enough. Uh, that's not going to work. I don't have enough boost. Also, like, where um, are you going to go when you run out of bridge? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, right. I might be able to land on those things. Shit! Uh, no. I... That is very difficult. Um... Can you actually see where the lasers are coming by? Coming from? Okay, they're not something you can reach. Oh, that one got you. Oh, I didn't think they could get me. Yeah, there. I didn't think they could okay. get you. Okay. 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 Wow. Go on, portal bridge <laughs> simulator is really hard. <laughs> um, have you seen portal bridge simulator, by the way? I've not, no. Oh, it's it's an actual game. Yeah, I, um, I know, I know. Um, I just, I, I actually have had no experience of it. I don't know what what it involves. Presumably um, simulating bridges. It involves uh, 
it's a bridge builder except you also have have the option of portals so. that well-known genre of games bridge builder <laughs> It, it genuinely is. Um, I I got really... Oh, wait, is that an actual genre? Um, yeah. It, wow. It, okay. Um, sort of the best... The best out there is, uh, you know, depending on your opinion, but um, I feel like one of the more popular ones out there is uh, uh, Polybridge. Well, um, nowhere to hide now. And Polybridge 2, which very recently came out. Um, oh, drop down. Yes! No. Oh! No, keep going, keep going! That was it, though. That was it. <gasps> you need okay. to get to that point. You just need to fucking book it. Um, but basically, they involve building a bridge and you have to... Um, you, you have various materials at your disposal that you have to try and use as few materials as possible to um, to make it like as cheap as possible while still holding up as a bridge. Um. Did that little spider kill you? I think it sent a bomb is the thing. Wow. Um, bit rude. Uh, she said, "Don't get fried." Nah, you need to make it into cover once you're yeah. just before that. I think there was. I think that that was a tunnel underneath there. Yeah, I um, think you're right. Oh, damn I also, it. I also oh, think you started is... booking it a little bit earlier, a little bit early. Um when you hit the jets to get across. Yeah. Because they didn't start targeting you until you were quite a bit further. Um, Kim is actually correct. I should have taken that opportunity to respec into not getting hit by lasers. Um, <laughs> just, just, just the laser-proof armor. I should have got laser-proof armor. <laughs> You see, I don't think you need to boost until you're almost at that tank, because the... Well, nowhere to hide now. Yeah, so now boost. Or can you just boost when the when the beeping starts, actually? Yeah. Oh! You bastards! <laughs> yeah, that was a... You that was a dick move. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> the word cockwomble will never not be funny. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I could have sworn that was a tunnel. Wait, did that hit you? I think that may have oh, hit you. Oh, down there. Yeah. Okay. So... We got this. Terminate. We've not got this. <laughs> okay. That that seems good. God, this game just doesn't want you to have nice things. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I just my heart skips a beat every time I hear that. <laughs> um Okay, so they can't see right. you here for some reason. Oh yeah, get oh no, because they could, they've got a shot across, like that bit which looks like it's cover on the right. They can clearly just blast you there. Oh no, that's no, just a no it's, entry zone. It's out of bounds. Okay. Why is it out um, of bounds? Why is so that specifically I out of bounds? I think like down there is a I'm kill zone. Heading right? towards over here. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a good point, uh, Crossy Seambirds. They built the bridge, they installed lasers. Yeah, you, this is a great way to build a toll bridge if you were so inclined. You know? 
if your inclination was not to collect money but to destroy your own bridge. No, I mean, like, I think if you're threatening to fucking blow up people who try to go across the bridge without paying the toll, that's, that's, that's a I pretty like good uh, inducement. Let's get the cargo launch ready. There, access the container. Or, yeah, you could blow where? them up and sell where? them for where? scrap. Okay. There. I think you might be out of the laser zone, though. Oh, don't love that you're giving me a supply right now. Yeah, there's going to be a fucking boss, Sam. <laughs> God, what do you think you're playing? Oh. <laughs> now, if you could just step inside. Oh, this is definitely a trap. Enemy detected. Wait, is she telling us to get on the train? Shit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, that tourist is a sea spider. <laughs> I love how you're turning it from her calling me a tourist. To yeah, she's like, that comma, tourist comma is a sea spider. But it's somewhat funny. She's like, oh, no, that's no tourist. That's a sea spider. Wait, sorry. Oh, fuck. Did, oh, you did have Carla too many just legs. say that specifically? You have too many legs. Did Carla just say specifically that this robot was created by a mad scientist? Yes. Like none of the other robots <laughs> have been created by a mad scientist. <laughs> oh, I love this. It Jesus stomp. Christ! Stomp, stomp. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I might have peaked the levels there when I was shouting that it has too many legs. Oh, it's okay. We've been peaking the levels <laughs> constantly. Like oh just, boy. just, just by oh talking, boy. I can see us. Uh, I don't know because we've got we've got a peak thing and an average thing. I, I think we're we're not actually clipping particularly often. I haven't actually managed to listen Wait. back to the um, VOD, so I'm not certain. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Um, also, M has confirmed that um, even though it did peak a little bit, uh, they're still alive. Oh, that's good. Um, Just continuing on the portal theme. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... Jesus Christ, you are... The coolest fucking robot in the world. I am never gonna make anything as awesome as this scientist yeah, made by a thing. mad robot. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the scientist made by a mad robot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Genuine mistake there, but. Okay. Everyone in chat is typing the letter E. Why? Oh. Uh, I think it's because M typed the letter E on its own because in her previous uh, in her previous comment um, she wrote alive but missed out the E. But now everyone's just typing E. Um, Kim wants to know whether this robot is your wife, Sam. Kind of. I fucking love this robot. Ooh. Uh, do. Oh, uh, no. Too late. Yeah. Ooh, now we're, now we're putting accents on the E's. Um, which accents? Oh, we've got all of. We've got a whole lot of there accents. There can't be all the possible accents on any. There are so many. Well, of them. you know, you've got you've got forward accent, you've got backward accent, you've got hat, you've got reverse hat. Um, someone has put in the, you know, a that I want to call a thorn, inside. but that's a different thing. Can you get an umlaut over an E? If yeah. you just believe hard enough? Like Spinal oh. Tap, which has an umlaut um, over the eye. Because that makes sense. Oh, 
Oh, can you get an umlaut over an E? I know you can't over an I, which is why Spinal Tap is funny. I mean, like, it's not yeah, why Spinal Tap is funny. Yeah, which is why I've never funny. understood the word the naive. Because naive has a umlaut over, over an I. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Hold on. I'm just going to look something up. It's completely unrelated. It does not, Sam. It does. Oh no, uh, sorry, it's not a it's not an umlaut. Um, the two dots above the I in naive are actually not an umlaut. They are in this case a diuresis. And a diuresis is a, a mark dia placed racist. over a vowel. It's a diuresis, not a diuresist. Um, but that is a thing that looks exactly like an umlaut that is confusingly placed over a vowel exactly like an umlaut, but it indicates that the vowel is pronounced separately from the rest of the surrounding vowels, which is why it's naive and not naive. And not naive. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I looked away from chat and there were so many E's. Okay, so we were both right. Because it's not an umlaut, but it <laughs> also has an umlaut. <laughs> it's it has an umlaut, but it's not an umlaut. umlaut. <laughs> yeah. Um, when is an umlaut not like an umlaut? Riddle me this, Batman. Uh, when it's a jar. <laughs> I think it might be the Riddler in the Lego Batman movie might have my favorite line in any movie. Which is just, riddle me this, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just fucking... It's a very funny film. That specific moment just kills me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I might need to respect my Mac. Um, how... We still got that. Have you noticed the spider's just less glowing evil red now that you're dead? It's <laughs> like it calms down completely. Yeah, because it's come to deal with an intruder, and that's all it's come to deal with. <laughs> I think we should spi fight spiders with spiders. Um, <laughs> you know? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Tanks? Have you got the tank legs yet? <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> now, I did buy the tank <laughs> legs. <laughs> I think you should use the tank legs. No, I've got no maneuverability on that. You don't need it, you just run it over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right. Um, this is not... <laughs> This is not going to go well. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's going to go fucking great. I think you should get I think you should get tank legs and two swords. Um I'm going <laughs> to oh, fuck it. If we're going heavy, let's go <laughs> fucking heavy. I think you should get two swords and just drive yourself no. up right next to just go like Brr. one I can't <laughs> wield swords in my right hand, but two <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you fly with the tank legs? I don't know. <laughs> it said that my booster unit has been removed <laughs> because it uses internal boosters. But there's another level in which you uh, fight with an ally, and the ally has tank legs and does seem to have like vertical maneuverability. So I guess we'll see. Um, 
<laughs> like, Oz. If we're going big, let's, let's Oz is Oz big. is back. Oz, I thought you I thought you left, but welcome back. Um, Oz has pointed out that it looks more like you're sitting in a canoe. That's uh, sorry, a kayak. Definitely. Yeah, it does look true. like a one person kayak. Um, you just need you need thick paddling arms. I I'm so excited. You I I know it probably won't work. I'm <laughs> so excited you're finally using the tank legs. That's. That's fair. Um, that is why I bought them. <laughs> um, For me? To make me excited? <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Just because I knew it would be stupid, but we would... Yeah, these are definitely some hips. I've, I've, heard, that, I've heard that you can do great things with the tank legs. So, yeah, I... <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, that looks so silly. <laughs> Can technically fly. Um, yeah, no, Sam got legs just oh, to excite me. Right. Yeah, look at that. You can do wheelies. You can do donuts. Now, if you can just step inside. <laughs> Did you crash into it and start to climb it? I cannot it? step inside. I do not have legs. Um, So I am noticing something, which is that you've got a surprising amount of durability. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a tank. <laughs> I have heard that um, tank legs and minigun actually do make a really good combo. <laughs> I agree. This game is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. Gen, like from an art, um, from an art design point of view, um, and from a lighting point of view, this is the sort of game. This is the sort of game that makes Hideo Kojima bilious with envy. Yeah. You know, like. And Hideo Kojima used to make mecha games like the aren't Metal Gear Solid. Fuck. Oh! Hideo Kojima, the creator of Hideo Games. Uh, uh, and, yeah, and CEO of Hideo Productions. <laughs> um... You see, I know you said this would be a bad build. I think this was a pretty fucking good build. That was a pretty good run. Yeah. Um, now, <laughs> <sighs> well, here's the thing, right, someone has said, I'm a tank, sentence I never thought Sam would say unprompted, um, uh, I, I actually have a, um, personal trainer, um, who... I can only afford because she does not charge us nearly enough, but um, me, me and my partner uh, go to a PT together. Um, but she seems absolutely lovely, by the way. She she is amazing. Right, she is so good at um, just dealing with with uh, problems that arise for because people are. Not dealing with, like, being a straight white man. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, uh, not dealing with it or dealing with not? Whatever I meant. 
That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you meant, that's what you meant. Yep. That's good to know. Um, but <laughs> uh, she she has described me as an unexpected tank <laughs> because um, because like you may not quite be able to see you know you see my upper half um, from once a week but like uh, <laughs> uh, I I can apparently lift things which are unexpectedly heavy um, considering my my general size and demeanor um, but I mean I would say like because a few weeks ago we went we went bouldering um, you had not done it before and you I mean, you were you were climbing pretty constantly for nearly two hours, like you know. Yeah. Um. I really like the fucking tank legs. You know, like I know what you mean about in terms of speed for dodging, but that strafe that you've been doing oh. with the minigun firing constantly has been. Absolutely hacking it apart. I don't know what you're gonna do now, like. Like, not only is it flying, but it's suddenly made of shotguns. Yeah. Don't love that. Um. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, someone has posted a link to flying dinosaur. Flying dinosaurs? No, sorry, dinosaur has posted a link to <laughs> flying spiders, which are apparently a thing so you know um just live forever with that knowledge right it's nine o'clock it's nine o'clock this is going to be the last boss battle of the stream i am i'm going now, just step <laughs> once more with Wait. enemy detected I unironically think this is a great build. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. <laughs> I genuinely didn't think it would be, and I, I'm kind of agreeing with you. Oh, that that was oh. that was a bad one though. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientist tourists. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, if I could see anything that wasn't explosion, I would try my best. Everything's explosion in this game. It's explosions oh. and hips. Explosion and hips. <laughs> Can you write that one down? <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, we definitely can't use the title we're using on Twitch. Um, <laughs> For YouTube, because it features a certain emoji. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, actually, oh, did I? And we will not get away with that on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if I remember to actually confirm that change. Damn it. Um, is <laughs> if if I did, is there a um, is there an emoji in the? Twitch name. <laughs> um, oh, did you not? Did you not confirm the the change of the the stream title? Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, they've they've they found it. They found it. Yeah, huh. it worked. It worked. It works. Uh, yeah, basically, I don't think we can use that in its current form on YouTube. I think that might uh, what? What? might raise the algorithms what? algorithmic eyebrows. But hey. Oh. That was really good. We beat that boss. We nearly beat another boss. 
Yeah. Um, I do not trust this color person. I think that was a trap. And she's like, what? No, it's not a trap. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know there'd be a spider there when I led you across this bridge full of laser snipers. Lasers that explode on impact somehow, which is yeah. weird, right? I don't know how that, that physically works. But I guess it's no more weird than lightsabers. So, um, um, if you're wondering, um, I, I I picked up some God. things about that um, about that level. Um, we were going there to transport ourselves across the continent, despite us having rockets. Um, <laughs> but yeah. um, uh, and uh, it's really well guarded because it's basically a port. Um, and we're using, we're trying to use the unused bit of the port just to launch ourselves. Because instead of like it being ships or something, we literally got here like in a, a spaceship. Catapult. I would assume. Yeah. Can we not just get back on the spaceship? You would think so, but hey. Oh, the lasers made out of bombs. That tracks law. Oh, headcanon accepted. Bomb lasers. Um, this was really good. Anyway. Yeah, wishing you a spoopy, spoopy Halloween. Um, Wait, do we need to go go spoopy with our voices do again? Do we need to go spoopy? Do I look ready to start spouting Shakespeare, which wouldn't be spoopy enough. Really. <laughs> I guess there's, there's ghosts in Hamlet. A ghost. I don't really know much, um, much Hamlet off by heart. Um, um, Sam might do that. I feel like somewhere in there is most of the to be or not to be speech. Um, but to boo or not to the, boo. The bit with the skull is, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio, blah, 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 blah. I have, no, I've, I've, I've lost all of that. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Out, brief candle. I know it's Macbeth, but it's a thing. Um, can we turn off the fucking cathedral? <laughs> 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 It's uh, weird that the it is weird that the um, the USP of our channel is just how we spend like five minutes pissing around before we even think about getting to gameplay, <laughs> and then at the end of the stream we do another five minutes pissing around. Look, that's, but we're having fun. Um, we are having fun. We hope you are also having fun. Um, and if you have thoughts about how much fun you had you can send those over to our um <laughs> social media channels um we're on twitter Just send your Kofi send Dan. us your thoughts about whether yes. this was send fun us for you your thoughts <laughs> this cannot backfire um we are kofi sam over on um uh, over on twitter uh, we we're Kofi Sam on YouTube at Kofi Sam on YouTube as well. That yes, technically YouTube. social media. Slash you can subsplurb and uh, comment um, and and all of that good stuff. Like the videos, please, please comment on them. That it 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 helps the algorithm um, and stuff like that, like YouTube stuff. Um, uh, you can be found on. Tumblr at a Sam Kofi. I very, very confusing. It's like an inversion of the regular name. And I am at neither a baron on both Twitter and um, what I have to assume is pronounced X. Um, you know, X. It's probably X. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably X. 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 Um, oh my God, we, we must be. To answer your question, no, I am not back to using Twitter. Um, I am still not touching that with a 10-foot barge pole. Um, oh, a little bit of advice, though. If you are taking a break from Twitter or thinking about leaving it permanently, deactivate your account. Don't delete it. Um, because uh, if you delete your account, then that username can be used by someone yeah. else for whatever they want to do. Whereas if you just deactivate it, it's gone. And we have given um, out that uh, handle 
on this channel a lot. I don't want to do that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I haven't even deactivated my account. I have just deleted the app off off my phone um, for my own sanity. That makes um, sense. So I am um, still still not to be found on there. I'm rarely to be found. Sometimes on 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 the tumblers. Um, and I have this week off, so um, there. So you may yeah, notice, they'll just send him all your feedback, um, basically. When um, <laughs> <laughs> just constantly, um, um, you may have really take him to task. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> you may have noticed uh, at the start of um, the stream when some people subbed, there was a. A little uh, shark oh, yeah. um, animation. Uh, I am gonna try and work on some more animations. Um, for example, when people gift subs, um, I am telling you this so that maybe I stick to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that's often a really helpful thing to do. And speaking of things that uh, the. I personally have said uh, going to happen a um, little bit of a reminder for those of us who are watching who might be Mechanisms fans um, there is going to be a new Mechanisms merch drop on uh, let me see the day after tomorrow on November the 1st uh, we're going to be releasing a limited amount of CD merch uh, it's not going to be the last drop um, but we are doing a smaller drop just so that it's more manageable for us to fulfill the orders. So um, keep an eye on the Mechanism's Twitter account, please, if you're interested in that. I will do my best to repost um, when it goes live. I will not necessarily be able to post on my phone the second it goes live. So um, I would recommend being on the Twitter um, because I will be at work. Um, will there be high noon ones? There will not be high noon ones. No, there are. There is no stock of high noon over Camelot. Unfortunately. Ooh. Um. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, this has been a whole bunch of fun. Um, I hope you will come back uh, next week and see. Uh, wait. When does uh, Small Saga drop? Small Saga drops on the 16th of November, I believe. Okay. So we have got um, we've got a week or so um, more on this. It we, might be, I don't know whether it's the 14th or the 16th, but we will be playing Small Saga. Um, I cannot wait. Um, Heck yeah. yeah. Um, if I am going to be promoting uh, the Kofi. fuck out of Small Saga in the next few weeks, by the way. Sorry, but uh, not sorry. <laughs> Kofi contributed some of the music towards um, Small Saga. So, um, yeah. Uh, and if you want to hear that music, you can go over oh, to yeah. their band camp. Yeah, uh, my um, band camp is bandcamp.com slash Kofi Young. Um, and I have an EP of songs that I wrote for that game. Um, there's also going to be, that EP is going to be on Spotify and Apple Music the day that the game releases, which I believe is the 16th of November. Um, I am also going to have those songs on the full soundtrack album, which I do not know the release date for that, but I imagine it's coming out around the same time um, please 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 um, support that game when it comes out we're going to be playing it so you'll be supporting it by watching but you should also get the game it's a really good game um, like I've played the demo it's really well written it's really fun it's really tactical without being um, um, being inaccessible and yeah. um, and yeah, uh, please support the music as well. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to do that now because it's going to be on um, streaming platforms as well as available directly from me on Bandcamp. Um, you can also, you know, if you listen to the soundtrack album as well, that supports me as well. Um, so yeah, lots of different ways to find it. Small Saga is an RPG about angry rodents. Um, for the person who was asking yeah. in the chat about what Small Saga is. It's about a medieval kingdom of extremely angry ro rodents who... It's like a 16-bit RPG. Um, rodents who fight each other with switchblades and, um, like, human switchblades that they use as, like, massive <laughs> two-handed swords. Um, 
uh, there's a there's a character who has a flamethrower that's actually a cigarette lighter. It it's awesome. Trust me. Um, yeah. Um, and remember to um, follow my band camp for when I uh, drop my Christmas album. <laughs> No, I am joking. I, I would be don't here for that. For that. Uh, you guys, you, you you haven't heard Sam's singing voice, but it's beautiful. Um, I like seriously. I would I I I would get a I would get a Sam Christmas album. Um, right. Thanks very much for joining us. We will see you next week. Woo. All right. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.